guys and girls. Right, today, I'm a bit wobbly with the camera there. Ooh. Um, it's the Christmas tag video. So I just want to get straight into it and get it done. I'm sorry about the hair and whatnot. Just could not be bothered to get myself ready and prime for the camera. So this is the real me without the makeup and all of that. So the first question is, is Christmas your favourite holiday? No. <laughs> I think it's a close second though, um, Halloween, as you probably already know, is my favourite by far. Number two, what do you want for Christmas? I have no idea at all. Every year I get asked this and I, I don't know, anything, just anything nice. I always think if people just put the thought into it, you know, even if it's handmade or it doesn't matter what it costs, as long as that thought was there, I'm not bothered what I get, and I've always been the same. Number three, what are you doing for Christmas? Now, I've got this groovy man. Oh yeah. Um, we are actually at home for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I'm going over to my mother's on Christmas morning for an hour to do present exchanging, and then we are going down to my husband's mother on Boxing Day to do all presents and gift exchange then as well. So that is about it. Um, what is your favourite Christmas movie by far? National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's just, it's a must. It is like a ritual which ties in the, ne the next question is what is your Christmas tradition? And that is it. Every Christmas Eve, that movie has to be watched. Doesn't matter where I am and what I'm doing, I've got to watch that movie. It's been a tradition for me for about 15 years, I would say, probably about that. It's just absolutely freaking amazing. Clark W. Griswold is the dude. Um, what is your favourite... I've already done that one. No. Um, what is your favourite thing about Christmas? My Christmas dinner. <laughs> it's all I bloody think about in it, food. But my, definitely my Christmas dinner and my least favourite thing, I think it's got to be the Christmas pudding. Ugh. Hate Christmas pudding. Don't like it. Love Christmas cake. Hate Christmas pudding. Number seven, sing your favourite carol. I ain't got one. I'm, I'm just going to put out that I literally don't have one. I don't usually sing Christmas carols or anything like that. The only one I can kind of remember off the top of my head is Away in a Manger, but I'm not even going to pierce your ears with that. It's not cool. Away in a Manger, not the day. Um, so, I honestly ain't got one. Um, what charity do you give to on Christmas if you do? It always used to be, well always used to be, it always, I can't get my words out. WWF, um, I always think of wrestling, I don't know why, um, I always used to give a donation on behalf of my two cats, so it was like giving something back to the other animals, um, I haven't actually done it this year because I'm not the richest of people at the minute, um, <laughs> um, but I have, I, I give to charities throughout the year, you know, I always do, I think the last one I give to is the Poppy Appeal. So, I suppose you could class that as a Christmas thing because it was November. Anyway, I'm dead right. Um, do you spend Christmas dressed or in your pyjamas? <laughs> pyjamas? I usually live in my pyjamas. Anyway, it's very rarely that I am dressed, to be honest. <laughs> You're very, very, very honoured. <laughs> I mean, I'm usually in my pyjamas. So, anyhow. If you only had one gift to give, what would it be and who would it be to? I really don't know. Oh, I honestly could not tell you. Every, the thing is everybody wants world peace but it's not something I can give, is it? I'd probably give my husband a trip to America if I had the money so he could go to Houston and the Space Center and everywhere, everywhere like that because it's, it's really like a lifetime goal for him. So I would probably do that. Um, do you open your Christmas presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Christmas Day morning always has been since I was little. Your little pile was on the city, you know, and you'd come down the stairs and 
you'd be all excited, you know, and still to this day, I still do that. You know, put them into little piles and, oh, I just, I love that feeling. Um, did you build a gingerbread house? Never built one in my life, so that was an easy one to answer. And 13, have you ever made a snowman? Hundreds, hundreds and hundreds. When we were little, up here in the northeast of England, we used to have absolutely immense winters. The snow would be like five foot deep, and we haven't really had anything like that since. But my last sort of snowman I can remember building it wasn't actually a snowman, I sculpted an arse, a bum, out of snow and left it on my back doorstep at my parents. <laughs> uh, we used to play snow forts quite a bit as well, where you build your fort and we'd run at it or chuck stuff and try and buff it down. But anywho, anywho, that is the Christmas tag. Um, it's just nice to be back and I'm not going to tag anybody. If you watch this video, tag your it. Do it. Can I just show off as well my little bit of handiwork on my nails that I did last night? These are real, by the way. These are not fake. That's one thing that I'm quite proud of on my body. I've got really nice, strong, sturdy nails. So I did them for Christmas. So, anywho, I have an absolutely brilliant Christmas and have a happy new year as well i've got some videos planned for in the new year so just remember guys to stay cool be cool and can i just say as well this was my grand christmas tree this is probably about 40 year old and i put it up every year in her memory it's kind of spindly and i upgraded it this year with some lights so just have to show that off so anyway i'm, I'm way on a tangent again Anyway, have a great Christmas, great New Year, and I will see you on the other side.